Hey, what's happening, y'all? This part of P. Coming to you live from the shit house. Back in the day, they used to call it the Dial House. <laughs> All right, y'all. I want to come to y'all today to talk about a crazy topic. Like I always tell you, I'm going to come to you with some shit. And I always got some shit to come to you about. Now, the crazy shit that we're going to talk about today is Puff Daddy and Rick Ross. <laughs> Did y'all see them on TMZ, y'all? Now, be real with me now. I'm not going to let another man be face to face with me like that with my tongue out like we finna kiss. <laughs> boy, just like I say, 50 Cent, you were right about that, boy. Something don't look right about that. <laughs> when I seen that, I just want, I, when, I, when I did see that, I thought in my mind, I said, I wonder who hit who. <laughs> I bet you Puff probably hitting Rick Ross, you know, from the back. I hear him now. I got him. to have old big Rick Ross bent over. He hit him from the back. That's probably how he came up with that slogan he got. Huh? <laughs> he be hitting him from the back, hitting that nerve in him. When he be hitting him from the back, Puff be hitting him from the back. Yeah, yeah, Rick. Hitting him from the back. He be, huh? When he, when he get it that good, he be, huh? <laughs> Lay back music. <laughs> Yeah, I laid back my ass. <laughs> yeah, I bet you. And then the other cat on that, man. Um, TMZ, boy, they ought to be a damn shame of themselves. But, you know, they keep it real, though, you know. Two cats now. They got pink shirts on, and then he got Puff laying between his legs, and then they got his hand over Puff, you know, hand on Puff chest. You know, they taking a, 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 a Valentine's Day pitch. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, Valentine's Day pitch. Boy, I tell you, boy, this rap game is something else, boy, I tell you, boy. Y'all fuck it up for a real rapper, I ain't gonna even lie. Y'all fuck it up for us, boy, I ain't gonna even lie, boy, I tell you, boy. Make a real rapper and a real nigga look bad, I tell you. And uh, one other thing I need to talk to you about, uh, Illuminati. Uh, y'all rappers and, and, and people out here, y'all need to stop saying rappers are in Illuminati because I got something for you, you know. I got truth for you, you know. Illuminati ain't letting niggas in. <laughs> you best believe Illuminati ain't no niggas in Illuminati. You believe that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let them fool y'all if y'all want to. Y'all keep talking this Illuminati shit and want to be a part of Illuminati and all that shit. You know, the, the, the real definition of it is a gang. That's what your ass is, a gang. Ain't no Illuminati. So stop tying yourself to damn Illuminati to my damn Illuminati. Because niggas ain't in Illuminati, for real. That's real talk, you know. You know, I'm just being real with you. You know, 100, however you said, 200, 300, 500, whatever the hell you say. Real is real, however you say it. I say no niggas is in the Illuminati. <laughs> boy, I tell you, but one thing about niggas, boy, niggas is quick to jump on ship and don't give a damn if it's sinking. <laughs> they just want to be on the ship. Well, I tell you, I told you that I always come to you with some shit. And I'm going to say like I always say, because ain't nothing going to never change with me. I'm through shit, so I'm through talking. Peace.